Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, we will have a look at the Sofun SP33S flashlight as it is here in my hand. The item is delivered in the typical Sofun box, uh, nothing too fancy or uh, special, but really nice uh, that they saved on the price for the box because uh, usually the box is landing in the trash. So inside we have the blister so the flashlight is really secure in transportation. We have the USB to USB-C charging cable, a pretty long one so that is nice to have. Then as usual our days uh, we have this uh, information on it so uh, to in order to legally ship the flashlight the battery can be fully charged and uh, you have that little plate insulating uh, plate that is between the flashlight and the battery to remove to get it actually working uh, then we have a lanyard, a typical, typical uh, design of a lanyard uh, with two, yes, two O-rings. Spare O-rings is always good. So, uh, and then we have a thick manual in different languages. I'm going to make uh, the same video in German, in Deutsch as well, uh, because that is a flashlight that can be of interest in for people in Germany as well. So we're gonna quick look at the at the manual. Uh, basically, we have a, on turbo the 5,000 lumens maximum. Uh, in this version, we have a cool white LED, and it goes all the way from moonlight to up to 5,000. So we quick first look at the, at the manual. Uh, I find it important that the manual is on the video so you can look at the different uh, pages and just stop the video. Then we have already the French part in the manual. So it's really nice. To the flashlight itself. Uh, the flashlight is easy to use. We have a great uh, user interface with it. Uh, you have this button here, that is the main button. Uh, the bottom is flat and uh, on top we see a stainless steel bezel with that big LED and the orange peel reflector. So uh, there you can basically set it up in two ways uh, to use it, either in the ramping mode or in the step mode. Uh, the difference is uh, by the ramping mode you can adjust it exactly how you need the light output by the ramping mode, but uh, by the stepping mode it comes in steps. Uh, to change the different modes you click four times on the button and then you are in the different mode, in the, in the other mode. Uh, I always use those flashlights in the ramping mode. Uh, that was a great uh, improvement and it's uh, for quite a while now standard by Sofun uh, that they have that user interface because uh, most of the people like it. Uh, the ramping mode for me uh, helps a lot uh, that you need, you can adjust the light output exactly on what you need. Uh, so it isn't too dim or too strong, uh, that helps you get not only get the correct uh, light what you need for the given situation but also to save on battery and uh, that is uh, really nice so to uh, turn it on basically you just press and then it's on uh, basically on the lumen level that you left it on uh, last time so it has a memory in it uh, if you want to have the moonlight mode, that is really nice uh, on this user interface too. You simply press and hold 
and then you are on the lowest level uh, especially for uh, saving uh, the the A side uh, in the night you uh, don't get too distracted with that low level and then of course if you need more light you can always uh, press it two times and you are on or you quick press two times and then you are in, in turbo that is the turbo the full 5000 lumens so it's really easy to use uh, strobe is a uh, three times so you have a strobe too, then you are in, in a strobe and as you press and hold it's going to cycle through the SOS and uh, to, the, to another mode. If you need that, uh, most people quite likely not going gonna to use it, but the uh, strobe is instantly there. So uh, if you use that light for the fence, that would work as well. So it's uh, really nice to, to use. Uh, as you saw, as we turn it on, uh, there is a green LED, which means uh, the battery is uh, fully charged in this case here. And uh, it's going to go over to a red as uh, the battery charge gets less and less. So that is relatively easy to do, to see and to notice. Uh, the button is not coming out over the surface there, so that is uh, relative uh, proof too. You can always do the manual lockout as well. It has a, a button lockout in the in the manual uh, as well. But I always use the bottom cap lockout. You simply simply uh, turn it like three four uh, millimeters, and then uh, you uh, have it locked out so that the flashlight doesn't turn on, especially for uh, storage and and uh, transportation. That is the most easy way to do it. Uh, there is the lanyard hole as we are on the cap end. Uh, that is a uh, the cap is completely flat. There is no magnet in it and or anything else uh, because it's rather big. Uh, then the body, then the, the head we have on the side some uh, uh, heat sink parts there. The diesel is stainless steel that is really nice because uh, the, the the weight of the of the light uh, if that gets dropped it may uh, would damage uh, uh, aluminium or a weaker part so that's pretty nice as we open it up we see the quality is there from the manufacturing we have the o-ring then the battery we have a 26650 5500 milliampere, a sofern, rechargeable, the button is a bit uh, standing out there. The plus side goes always in. Now for recharging you don't need to take the battery out, basically on the opposite side of the power button you have here a rubber cover usual style for the USB-C charging cable so you can uh, plug it in there and then with the USB port uh, you can charge it uh, then you see as the light goes on green it's finished and fully charged uh, the charging time depends on where you uh, charge it if you charge it with the USB port on the computer that uh, may take a bit longer than uh, with the USB uh, port and the adapter for the wall outlet but uh, that is all relatively simple and then you press it back in that it is flush so doesn't stand over too much either except that a uh, tab that you need to uh, lift the rubber part so for the size we see in the hand it uh, has a pretty good size, it's not uh, too small, uh, it has a, has a good handful as I would say, uh, the weight is there too, it's not overly 
heavy, but uh, you, you feel it for sure. But uh, on the opposite side, we have a big uh, battery for a relative long runtime. We have uh, up to 5000 lumen. Uh, the drawing is uh, there pretty good too. Uh, that uh, has a nice, nice output of the light. And uh, because it's completely adjustable from uh, like moonlight one or two lumens uh, up to 5000 lumens uh, that uh, will help you in many different situations uh, this is more for people that want to have a bit uh, uh, I would say a medium size uh, light in the in the pocket uh, maybe if you go uh, out with the dog or walk the dog or something like that or or uh, if you have gloves that would be a really really a, a good size too with gloves especially with the with the lanyard uh, then that you can mount on uh, it's it's a uh, good in the hand and uh, and uh, that that works it's not a tiny small EDC light uh, it's it's uh, too heavy for that but uh, that for that it wasn't uh, designed for so yeah all in all there isn't much uh, negative uh, negative I would say uh, it's a bit in the size uh, in between uh, so it did not come with a belt sheet or a pocket or something it just comes with the uh, with the lanyard loop and the lanyard uh, there is no uh, pocket clip either because it would be too too big to uh, be clipped for for that uh, size so it's a bit in between uh, the other negative is Sometimes, especially in the dark, it takes a bit of time to find the actual button uh, because uh, usually by such a setup I have the clip on the other side so I feel it in the hand where is the clip and then on the opposite side is the, bot uh, the firing button so we uh, don't have a clip so sometimes that needs a bit of time to see where is the, the, the button itself but uh, since we have the heat sink, that helps. So you feel it where where that is. Just saying that is a bit something something that you get need to get uh, used to. But other than that, absolute great. Uh, it's not my uh, first and sure not my last uh, light from Sofurn. Uh, I use that brand now for quite. Uh, some years and uh, I never had a bad one and the, the quality and the, the features did improve over the years uh, a lot and and they got only better and now for me if we look at the, at the build quality at the price and at the features uh, that is one of the best deals on the market uh, the user interface is uh, pretty much perfect I would say for uh, most people because you can select between the ramping and the the stepped mode uh, if you uh, are like me and you want to have the ramp mode exactly uh, you can stop exactly where you want to have the light so that for, for me that is basically perfect and uh, the, the quality is there the, the threads are looped directly from the factory the, the bezel uh, doesn't come off uh, that has a Loctite in it apparently so it's it's really a uh, secure uh, right out of the box so if you look for a for a flashlight uh, that is something to consider uh, of course Sofirn uh, makes a lot of different uh, flashlights different sizes so uh, even if that size here uh, may be too big or too small for you uh, have a look on the Sofirn uh, website uh, they have uh, uh, quite a variety of different uh, lights uh, some of them I made already videos on and some of them uh, I will do in the future so that much about the Sofirn SP33S